Hi, I'm here to teach you how to attach an aluminum rod onto the end of a motor that has a flat-sided shaft. Okay, the first step is to cut the rod in half. And I'm using this chalk saw to do so. shaft all ready to go. It's all filed down and nice on the edges. Um, the next step is to find the exact center of the end of this half inch aluminum rod. All right and once I have that measured um, you're gonna take a nail. I'm just gonna make a little dent there. There we go. You're going to be drilling a hole in the end and that hole is going to be the diameter of the shaft of the motor. So this one is um, 5 16 Okay, so now I have the aluminum rod inside of this vice grip and you're going to want to line it up with a right angle um, in all directions to make sure that it is um, perpendicular. This aluminum rod. Um, now the next step is to measure the hole. The hole will go um, that will hold a bolt that will align that flat side of the shaft on the motor. Um, so the shaft doesn't go all the way down so you want to measure the shaft and see um, how far this goes in. Um, this is about half an inch so I'm going to do about three eighths so I'm going to drill my hole on here. Um, so, if I measure that out, use the fancy nail again uh, to make a dent. The hole that's going to be drilled right there, um, it needs to be pretty specific. Um, I'm going to be using the tap and die system, basically just tapping right now. These are taps, these are dies. Um, this is a great set. It's where this came from, which I will be using. Um, I will not be using a tap from here today because it doesn't have the size that I need. So I have this one. It's a great size and it correlates with this bolt, which I will be using. Um, so there is a chart somewhere in the world that tells you what size of drill bit you need to go with which size tap. Um, and these are the ones that I will be using. Okay, tighten that up, line it up. side of this. Alright, so I have a little bit of oil on here. Um, here we go. 
You're gonna want to insert the tip into there. Now, this you don't use a lot of pressure. It's not necessary. Um, the threading will go fairly simple if you just turn it. Just turn it once. You'll feel a little grip, and you want to turn it back a little bit to cut out what it just cut. You don't want to get it so stuck in there that you can't take out the metal that it's already been cutting. So we'll cut it one way, but it needs to go back a little. So you just keep going in about a half a turn, turning back, and you'll be able to feel it. You'll be, you'll be able to feel it going in and the little cut once you go back. And you can watch the inside of the hole to see how through it you are. Almost there. It's a little easier. You'll feel it. See now? Now it's so so easy in there. And this part especially, be careful. You don't want to cut any other ridges in there. So, slowly taking it out. Here we are. With this, line that hole up with the flat side of this motor here. There you go. Long shaft. Now, you can do anything with this. You could drill holes in it, you could make a hook on it. This could be a beam. This could be the most gigantic thing as long as your motor it can handle it, honestly. Um, but it's you can kill a lot of motors just by drilling into the shaft and this is a great way to manipulate your motor.